fans, you've got it on 2K Sports as we get set to bring you exciting NBA action. With two Hall of Famers, Doris Burke and Grant Hill, I'm Brian Anderson, Allie LaForce, our reporter. Hey, Allie. Well, guys, the Grizzlies are an elite team, but also one of the league's youngest. John Mar mm, No shortage of ambition, Allie. Thanks for that. Now the opening lineup for the Brooklyn Nets. Irving and Curry, they man the backcourt together. Kevin Durant is out there with Ben Simmons. And it's Warren in at the small forward position. And for the Grizzlies, Moran and Bain in the backcourt together. Brooks and Jackson, the defensive forward pair. And it's Adams in at the five, roaming the paint. Well, Doris, we're expecting most of the action to come out of the backcourt of this game. No, exactly, B.A. Both teams are led by their terrific guard play. The outcome of this game likely hinges on the respective performances of those two positions. When you think of Seth Curry, you're thinking shooting. But there, what a pretty pass to find the open man. Outside Bain, pass to Brooks. Jackson outside, fires from deep. The rebound by the Nets. Simmons, the pass to Irving. And here's Durant. The three is up. Counted from distance. Oh, that's just such a pretty and smooth release. Durant with the distance delivery. Outside Morant. Now here's Adams. Jackson outside. Shoots over Durant. Oh, and there is Jaron Jackson. Fantastic play. Such a multi-talented threat on the offensive end, and you love his confidence. Here's Irving. And that one makes him two for two. He's in his rhythm. But just a spectacular display of ball handling from Kyrie opening up the look there. Many believe he might have the best handle in the game. And that was the mobile one drive. Low resistance to the finish line. He made that drive look easy, but that had a high degree of difficulty. And wrestling for it there, but no one has possession. We'll have a jump ball. Brooklyn with the ball. Duran against Bain. Let's it fly from 18. Brooks with the rebound. Well, if the defense gives him that shot next time, they could get burned. I think he's just a little bit out of rhythm. Pass to Bain. Jackson the screen. Hey, it's blocked by Simmons. Well, this is the kind of defense we are accustomed to seeing from Ben Simmons. Just so good at sending it back. And the whistle blows. It's going to be on Desmond Bain. That's his first foul. Simmons with a screen on Morant. Irving with it. He's picked up by Adams. Oh, and the jam by Simmons. The Simmons with a little flare and flash. Let him feel all of your basketball ability, Ben Simmons. For Memphis, they've gone one for three so far. Guys, it seems to me that what's gotten lost in all the criticism of Ben Simmons shooting is the fact that this guy is still very special at the things he is very capable of doing. Oh, and there's the whistle on the shot. So two free throws for him coming up. I like that. I mean, some physical play inside. He's not about to give up any easy baskets. down the first one and Simmons has taken a ton of heat recently he really has B.A. but it seems to me he's ready to prove his doubters wrong maybe he uses all that criticism as motivation to finally improve his shooting because absolutely on the defensive end this guy is a terror and in transition he puts a ton of pressure on you and so he's able to get one of two 
Boy, there's just a brute strength and physicality about Steven Adams. This guy knows his role and plays it to perfection. Oh, Simmons throws it down hard. And a little over two and a half minutes gone here in the first. Irving against Moran. Jackson with a screen on Irving. And it's Moran off the drive. It's stolen by Irving. Fast break, Brooklyn. And he lays it in on the break. Irving's got six points. Well, talk about a one-man show. Irving makes a play with the defense and converts with his offense. Jackson with a screen on Irving. Morant with the bucket. And setting the tempo with an assertive move. Like, where was the defense on that play? To me, that's a complete lack of communication on that side of the ball. These guys need to be talking to each other. First quarter of action, just under three and a half minutes played. Morant against Irving. Simmons with a screen on Moran. Irving finds Simmons. The kick out. Curry from outside the arc. Grizzlies with the rebound. Brooks the pass to Moran. Outside Bain. And there's the drive. Outside for Moran. Six on the shot clock. And down it goes. Two points. Moran's gotten his second bucket. I love this approach. Getting him involved early, and it's already paying off. They know that if this guy goes off, their chances of winning rise exponentially. Now here's Irving. He has six. Well, even after it appeared that there was a falling out, Kyrie Irving remains a Brooklyn net. Now, I suppose cooler heads prevail, but I wouldn't be surprised to see Irving on the move here in the near future. And a moment here to take a look at the scoring breakdown for Brooklyn. In the early goings, Shoot their two. effort level has been exceptional. The speeding around the defense and opening up options with good penetration. I think the other thing they've done a great job of is making their presence felt inside, converting tons of pain opportunities. That free throw good from Irving. Well, with all the trade requests over the last year, the Nets started to seem like a sinking ship. But with KD still on board, a chance to stay on course, he's invested so much in this team. I'm glad to see him remain in Brooklyn. Both free throws good from Irving. You know, one thing Kyrie Irving has talked about is reclaiming his power, Grant. Well, he has stopped listening to the outside voices telling him what to do. Finding his own purpose and his identity. And at times, that's meant being something of a renegade. Listen, simply put, he's got to finish that. It's not like the defender was right on top of him. Back to Curry. Basket is good. Nice setup from Irving. The offensive game plan is clear. Get it inside and go to work. They have used their size and their strength to get off any shot they want. They've dominated on the interior. From deep pain, he drops it from range. We've watched Morant get so good at this. Instinctively spots the opening and feeds a really good shooter. Here's Irving. Give him eight points now. Inside, here's Warren. Ooh, the lead pass was in the perfect spot to set up the layup. That's how you share the rock. He does this time and time again. On the wing, Brooks. Irving against Moran. And the shot's good. Moran's got six. Able to get that teardrop anytime he wants. Moran has all the shots in his bag. Simmons, the pass to Irving. Lays it in without an inch of room around him. That's what you call playing big. He just stays committed to the attack mode. Well, major height disadvantage. He recognizes that and still able to score it. Here's Morant. After the basket by Brooklyn. Pass to Bain. Jackson with a screen on Curry. Here's Bain. Jackson, the pass to Bain. 
Outside Moran. Memphis needs to get off a shot. Hey, no good. Brooklyn has gone one or two from three-point land so far. Here's Curry. Up top, Durant. And the Nets tack on two more. Man, that was fast. They're already up by double digits. Wow, they've come out strong. Control the pace, assert their will. Nice. Timeout called. Memphis. Clark is checked in for Memphis. Jones comes in for John ja Morant. And the Nets also making a change. Claxton, he's checked in for Durant. The Grizzlies have gotten 50% of their shots to fall so far. They're 5 of 10. Jones, the pass to Brooks. Sinks the tray. Listen, even average three-point shooters are going to make that shot. Defense must be better. On the wing, Curry. Pass to Claxton. Simmons against Clark. Back to Claxton. No one near him. Grizzlies with the rebound. Outside Jones. Brooks with it. Adams with a screen on Warren. Brooks from outside. And again, it's the Grizzlies from deep. Gotta fight harder to get over those screens. You know, we see this all the time. You're basically, as a defender, hoping the man misses rather than putting in the work to get over screens. Curry finds Irving over Jones. Irving, no good. The Grizzlies have gotten seven of their first 12 shots to go. To the inside. Here's Clark. Goes back up. Oh, Simmons with the block. On the wing, Irving. Now here's Simmons. To the middle. Oh, it's stolen by Adams. Clark outside. Pass to Bain. And here's Clark. From the arc. And again, it's the Grizzlies from deep. Defensively, you have to stay connected to him on the perimeter. The Nets with the lead. Outside Irving. Ooh, plenty of contact on that shot. Officials call the foul, and he'll take two free throws now. Now, that's an example to me of Kyrie Irving's craftiness, right? Understanding how to draw the contact from defenders. Shoot two. And the first one at the line is good. When Kyrie Irving is engaged, guys, this guy is almost unstoppable. The handle, the finishing ability, the absolute fearlessness when the game hangs in the balance. Jaron Jackson, he's checked in for Memphis. Conchar comes in for Brooks. 
Durant, he's checked in for Brooklyn. Mills comes in for Curry. Both free throws good from Irving. An efficient night from the line. This is a guy who puts in the work and it pays dividends. Now Jones. Well, he hasn't scored yet, but I'm sure that'll change. Bain. And it's Memphis with another. And both teams already firing on all cylinders. Yeah, this is already a high-scoring game, but we knew that was a possibility coming into this one. Now here's Irving. And it goes. As the official calls the foul, count it, and he'll shoot one more at the line. Free throw good from Irving. Memphis trailing here. Timeout called. Memphis. So it's the Grizzlies now. It's a five-point game. On the wing, Jones. He's guarded by Irving. Just five to shoot. Bain pass to Jackson. Takes a 13-footer. The shot off that time. And Brooklyn going the other way now. Up top, Durant. Clark covers. Outside Irving. Pass to Warren. Here's Claxton. Oh, a clear foul there on the missed shot. So he'll get a pair at the line. Jaron Jackson picks one up. Everyone in the building saw the obvious contact. Take a break. Take a break. Two shots. First free throw is good. No good on the second free throw. Memphis has gone four of seven from three-point range here in the first. Payne against Mills. Outside Jones. Back to Payne. Takes a three. And it's Irving with a rebound. Well, the defense clearly was not interested in guarding him from downtown. They're very fortunate he missed. Pass to Durant. 
shoots a fadeaway. And from the field after that one, three for four now. That's just such confidence when Kevin Durant gets into that mid-range jumper. Like, forget about it, defense. It's over. You know, it seems like the Nets and KD played the will they or won't they all summer long. But no deal was found, and KD is giving it another shot with the Nets. Now, there just didn't seem to be a deal that was right to move Durant. No good on the three. Pass to Clark. And stolen by Durant. Irving with it. He's got 15. 50 seconds left to play in the first quarter. And here's Mills from the arc. He can't get it to go. And the Grizzlies going the other way now. Outside Bain. Back to Clark. Outside Bain. Trying to get back on track. Brooklyn with the board. Mills, the pass to Irving. Six to shoot. And here's Mills for three. From beyond the arc, and then some. And the Nets lead by 11. My goodness, Patty Mills so aggressive if he gets a look from three. Even from that distance, folks, he is quite confident. Kyrie Irving has been on display for the Nets. Oh, what a quarter. He was absolutely on fire offensively. More 2K action in just a moment. Welcome you back to second quarter action. Plenty of basketball left to play, but this one has been one-sided so far. Boy, the Nets have been rolling along, haven't they? Well, clearly they played well in the first period because of their selfless attitude. I'll tell you, that willingness to make the extra pass, that is what creates good looks. It also forces the defense to scramble. Tyus Jones is out there with Ja Morant. Then it's Dylan Brooks. Then it's Jackson. And it's Williams in at the fourth. That's the lineup in the game for Memphis. The value of good ball movement isn't lost on this squad. Well, Brooklyn's shooting great. 62% from the field and continuing to get it done. Out to Harris. Brooks against Durant. Uses the glass on the layup. Durant's got nine. Uh, Kevin Durant, silky smooth. He's got the skill set of a guard, but the size of a center, and it allows him to dominate the paint. Now here's Moran. And then Moran with the jam! Playing from behind, it's amazing he chose a dunk with that high a difficulty rating. Yeah, no question. That was a stellar move with plenty of swagger. Brooklyn with the ball. Following the bucket by the Grizzlies. Connects from downtown. Durant's got five points now this quarter. Well, the ability to score without being the primary ball handler, right? Kevin Durant can catch and shoot as well as anybody in the league. Moran against Harris. Morant, the pass to Jackson. And so he draws the foul, headed to the line to shoot a pair. In 2022, we saw a lot of teams playing a slightly slower game, Doris, compared to previous seasons. I think, Brian, what's interesting about the NBA is it's a game that is in a constant state of evolution. You had the three-point revolution. You had a stretch of time where teams would not hit the offensive glass. That has now come back a little bit. Unequivocally, defense is improving drastically, and so you've got to find a way to score it. Okay. 
And so Jackson nails both of them. This is what makes him a challenge to stop. He will beat you from the floor, and he can also beat you from the line. Outside Durant, beyond the arc. And again, Brooklyn with the triple. Guys, so difficult to disrupt Kevin Durant's rhythm. The release point's so good. He can score from three levels. This guy is unstoppable. Now here's Moran. Give <laughs> That'll be a move to remember. Wow. Yeah, great creativity in the air. Two minutes now played in the second quarter. Mills, the pass to Durant. Mills with a screen on Brooks from the high post. Lays out, and the ball goes out of bounds. Last touch by Mills. That's miscommunication, and we rarely see that happen. So it's the Grizzlies now. They trail by 11. From deep, Morant. It goes again. His sixth basket in seven tries. Plays with so much confidence. When Morant gets in a zone, he stays aggressive. Quarter two and just under two and a half minutes gone by. To the wing, right side. Here's Simmons. The rebound by Jackson. Memphis has gone 5 of 10 from beyond the three-point line in this game. Harris against Moran. Jackson with a screen on Harris. Moran, no good. Brooklyn has gone 4 of 8 from 3. A nice percentage. Pass to Claxton. And here's Simmons. Pounded by Moran. And Simmons gets it to go. Simmons has got six points. 6'11", 240 pounds, able to absorb contact. Ben Simmons, easy work. Memphis calls timeout. And the Grizzlies making a change here. Conchar's checked in. O'Neal, he's checked in for Brooklyn. T.J. Warren comes in for Durant. Here's Jones. Looking for his first basket still in this one. Outside Morant. Over Mills. And another miss by Memphis. The Nets have gone a terrific 4 of 5 here in the second quarter. And just over three and a half minutes played here in the second quarter. Pass to Warren. Shot clock at six. Here's O'Neal from deep three-point range. Jones grabs the board. I know that he has the ability and confidence to sink that shot, <laughs> but better luck next time, maybe. And for most guys, I think you only want to take that shot if you've hit a few in a row. That is absolutely a heat check. Jackson gets the bucket. That jumper is pure. Jackson with great touch for a big man. Set him up, let him knock him down. Harris against Moran. Pass to Warren. To the paint. Stolen by Jackson. Takes a step back. And there's the foul. It'll go on Joe Harris. That's his first foul of the game. Clark is checked in for Jackson. Here's Conchar. Still getting warmed up offensively. No buckets yet in the game from him. Jones against Mills. Clock at six. Pass to Williams. There's the three. O'Neal pulls it in. Brooklyn's gone two of three from beyond the arc so far in the second. Here's Claxton. Clark covers. Here's Claxton. 
And here's Mills. For three, O'Neal. Clark grabs the board. Clark's got four rebounds now. Pass to Moran. Clark with a screen on Harris. Here's Moran going inside. Oh, there's Morant with the slam. The quick feet of Morant. He's so dangerous when he's cutting to the rim. The Nets with the lead. Here's Claxton. Pass to Warren. Harris outside. Here's O'Neal. And again, no good by Brooklyn. The Grizzlies have gotten six of nine attempts to go in the second. Looking good. Williams passes to Jones. Here's Conchar. Williams from long range. And the three-pointer goes. And now just a three-point Brooklyn lead. The Nets have gotten four of eight shots to drop in the second. Timeout called. Brooklyn. They're looking to do something to stop this run. They have to get back on track. Really needs to settle his guys down right now and get them refocused. And some changes here for the Grizzlies. Jaron Jackson, he's checked in for Williams. Dylan Brooks comes in for Conchar. And it's Desmond Bain in for Jones. So Brooklyn going with almost an entire new group here. Simmons has checked in for Claxton. Durant comes in for O'Neal. Curry, he's checked in for Harris. And Kyrie Irving is subbed in for Mills. And so it's Brooklyn with it. 13 points was their biggest lead of the game. And there's the call on Dylan Brooks. That's his first foul of the game. Grizzlies on D. It's a three-point game. A shot to stop the throw. And Kyrie Irving with the three. Irving's got 18. Well, the key there is Kyrie Irving did a great job setting up his defender on the pick and roll, and it led to the score. Pass to Bain. Morant with a screen on Curry. From deep, Bain. And again, it's the Grizzlies from deep. <laughs> That's how you up the ante. Come right back at him. And you would expect nothing less from these two, taking pride and making plays. Now here's Curry. Now here's Irving. And it's good. Assisting on the play was Curry. Irving's got five points now this quarter. Well, smart play by Kyrie Irving. Just gets on the board in the mid-range. Well, you look at Seth Curry. For his career, around 44% from long range. That's easily top five in NBA history. And he gets that one. And this is something this guy takes pride in. Capitalizing on second chance opportunities. From 11 feet away, and too long on the shot. And here's Memphis. They're on a 17-7 run. And Seth Curry, one of the elite shooters in league history. But his road to the NBA was no red carpet, Grant. So true. I mean, after graduating from Duke in 2013, a couple years in the G League proving himself, the questions were about his defense, but that stroke was never in question. Now here's Irving. Give him 20. Again, Irving missing. He didn't make them pay for that weak defense, but they just can't rely on him to miss those kind of shots. Now here's Moran. On the take. Oh! Yeah. yeah, an electric player. Moran just bouncing off the contact and finishing on the drive. Brooklyn has gone three of six from outside in the second quarter. Irving against Moran. The deep three from Durant. They get it again. Nice shot by Simmons. Simmons has got eight points. And once more this half, they find a way to get great position inside. Clark with a screen on Irving. Moran with it. Irving picks him up. Yep, count it. And that's just nasty right there, guys. He has a tremendous crossover. 
Here's Irving. He's now 8 for 11 after that made shot. Well, the defense was there. It just simply didn't matter to Kyrie Irving. This guy makes a living hitting contested shots. Up top, Jackson. Simmons defending. Here's Moran. So it'll be two free throws. He was fouled in the act of shooting. It goes on Kyrie Irving. Great job drawing the foul and almost converted the shot as well. And he drops the first. And the Nets making a change here. Harris is checked in. And Morant drops them both. The Nets have gone 8 of 15 in the second. On the wing, Irving. Pounded by Morant. Outside Durant, releases. It's rebounded by Memphis. Now Bain, 11 points in the game. Ooh, Durant with a steal. Pass to Curry. Back to Durant. And it's good. Assisting on the play was Curry. Durant's got 17. Well, this is what makes Kevin Durant maybe the greatest all-around scorer in the game today. Equal proficiency from every spot on the floor. Now here's Moran. Give him 23. Now Jackson. Simmons defending. Here's Moran. Perfect pass to set up the lay-in. Moran's got 25 points in the game. Man, he's on fire. Playing patient basketball, not forcing shots. Outside Simmons. There's a minute 40 left in the second quarter. And the bucket counts. And he is on his way to the line. He'll try to make it a three-point play. Oh, and last summer, Ben Simmons had surgery on a herniated disc. I'm not a back expert. You know, I'm more of an ankle guy. But hard to be effective when that area is just not right. Free throw good, Simmons. And last season, Ben Simmons caught some flack for not suiting up in the playoffs. Grant, you think his surgery quieted those voices a little? You know, I think it did a little bit. But, you know, at this point, it's going to come down to his performance on the court. He does have something to prove. It'll be interesting to see what he does. Out of bounds, it'll be Brooklyn's ball. That looks like a lack of focus. You've got to question what he was trying to accomplish there. The Nets with the lead. Outside Irving. Pass to Durant. And the ball goes out of bounds. Last touch by Durant. We've got 113 left in the first half. Brooks outside. Now Jackson. Outside Bain. He nails it. That's his fifth make in 11 tries. If the defender is giving him that much space, the points are inevitable. Irving with it. He's got 22. 50 seconds left in the first half. Pass to Durant. And stolen by Durant. And he's going for the lob. Oh, Clark with the slam. A beautiful setup on the alley-oop. Great catch, great flush. Brooklyn has gone three for seven from the perimeter during the second quarter. 
Irving against Moran. Irving up top. Pass to Harris. Down to five on the shot clock. Let's the three fly. And it's Irving missing. Here's Morant. What determination from Morant in the paint. Getting his shot off despite being fouled. as the free throw drops in for him. And so he hits both. Ja Moran, he's feeling it tonight and has been the driving force for Memphis. 27 on the night. He's had it his way. All right, Allie's ready to go. She's courtside. Hey, Allie. Hey, thanks. KD, a slow start. How do you improve defensively? Allie, as always, thank you. We'll be back right after the break for the third quarter here on 2K Sports. In that first half, we saw a pretty tight battle. We'll soon find out what sort of adjustments were discussed during halftime. Oh, a fantastic game from Ja Moran in this one. You just love his patience offensively in the first half. Waited until he got the looks he wanted. You know, as a coach, you can preach good shot selection, but it's up to the players to execute, and this guy has done just that. And we're halfway through this one. Plenty of basketball left in a game that's been a fairly even one. Memphis leading. On the floor for Brooklyn. Irving and Curry, they man the backcourt together. Ben Simmons is out there with Kevin Durant. And it's Warren in at the three, small forward. VA, I'm not sure he should be flaunting around the rim like that with this game so close. Oh, it's risky, but it sure did look good. And here's Curry. On the wing, Irving. Grabs the miss. Memphis has gone 7 of 14 from the perimeter in this one. Bain finds Morant. Back to Bain. Jackson left side. Got a piece of it. And stolen by Simmons. Pass to Durant. It's good. And a beautiful setup from Simmons that time. Simmons has got three assists now in this one. Outside Bain. Now Morant. Back to Bain. Deflects the pass. Pass to Morant. Four on the clock. No good with the triple. He couldn't believe how open he was. He just couldn't convert it. Simmons, the pass to Durant. Oh, the go-ahead bucket, no good. The Grizzlies shooting at around 60% on this one. Very efficient. Now here's Moran. He has 29 now. Jackson, the pass to Moran. That one goes. Count it. Moran's got 31. In the paint, Moran stays nimble, and that allows him to make any needed adjustment to his shot. Brooklyn trailing. They're searching for a way to score. Yeah, buckets have been very tough to come by. 
Pass to Warren. And here's Durant. Fires it. Durant with another miss. With the defense absent, that was a great opportunity, but no go. Hey, the pass to Jackson. And the foul on Ben Simmons. That's his third foul so far. Adams, the pass to Brooks. Moran against Irving. Six to shoot. Jackson with a screen on Irving. The three ball. That's good from Jackson on the assist by Moran. And it's a seven-point Grizzly lead. Pick works well there, but the defense left a lot to be desired. It takes incredible effort to stay connected to the hip of the offensive player. You've got to want to work. Now here's Irving. 22 points for him. Excellent D there from Moran. Well, we didn't see the same kind of control we're used to seeing from him. This guy is usually a tremendous finisher. Brooks the pass to Jackson. Jackson the screen. Morant with it. Durant covering. There's Jackson with the three. That one doesn't drop. The Nets go the other way with it. Pass to Curry. Outside Durant. Here's the three. That drops. And it comes off an assist from Curry. Curry's got four assists in the game. Well, you just have to sit back sometimes and admire the shooting form of Kevin Durant. Shoulders squared, body straight, three shot preparation perfect. Just over three and a half minutes through the third. Here's Moran. And that one drops. Moran's got six points in the quarter. And I love it. Challenging the bigger defender and showing plenty of heart. It is not an easy task trying to convert against length. Give him credit for taking on that challenge. Here's Curry. Following the bucket by the Grizzlies. Pass to Irving. The bucket's good, and he'll have a chance at one more. Ja Morant picks one up. Come on, that is remarkable work from Kyrie. Ridiculously crafty at how he gets into the defense and draws the foul. No good on the free throw. The Grizzlies have gone four of six from the floor in this third quarter. And the dunk by Jackson. <laughs> Attacking the rim with power. Tremendous finish. For Brooklyn, they've gone three of seven here in this third quarter. Down low. Here's Durant. That drops. And it comes off an assist from Curry. Curry's got his fifth assist in this one. A little bit of finesse against the physicality. Kevin Durant doing work. Now here's Moran. 33 points for him. Curry against Bain. And Morant gets double teamed. Shot clock at five. Let's it fly. Bain, no good. Well, terrific defense. They obviously respect his ability and just want to make it tough. So 2021 saw the addition of yet another honor to the resume of the great Kevin Durant, a selection to the NBA's 75th anniversary team. I don't think he needed cementing of his legacy, but it's just one more feather in his cap. The size advantage gives him a nice, clean look for mid-range. Here's Morant. And that one, good. Morant's got eight here in this quarter. Fearless play by Morant. Goes up against tough coverage and still manages the inside shot. Even with all those accomplishments, Durant is just as hungry as ever, Doris. 
the BA, to me, he's always just in a competition against himself. He simply wants to play the best basketball night after night. There's a guy who takes tremendous pride in being complete and perfecting his craft. Memphis is gone, only one of three from deep here in the third. Moran against Irving. With some arc. Moran, no good. The Nets have gotten six of ten shots to fall in this third quarter. Pass to Irving. Simmons with it. This for the tie! Adams grabs the miss. Adams has got seven rebounds in the game. Outside Bain. Adams with the ball. He's guarded by Irving. Adams, shot's good. Listen, there is a touch and a confidence about Steven Adams. If he's in the paint, he will get it done. Now a timeout called by Brooklyn. Boy, you got to like what John Moran has done in this game. And I think a new plan would be a good idea. At least make it hard on this guy. And the Grizzlies with some changes. Clark comes in for Jaron Jackson Jr. And it's Conchar in for Brooks. Claxton, he's checked in for Brooklyn. O'Neal comes in for Durant. defense the Grizzlies they lead by four fires in the triple Irving's got 27 Kyrie Irving from range that is such a beautiful looking shot pass to Adams here's Morant Adams a screen and he'll draw the foul he'll head to the line for two the officials were right on top of that one and a closer look here at the scoring breakdown for Memphis. Their offensive game plan has been simple. Look to shoot it often from outside the arc. And the results sure have do. been outstanding. And the other thing, guys, credit their game plan. They've been getting the looks they want, and they are executing at a high level. First one falls for him. Drops them both. Brooklyn's gone two of three from outside so far in the third quarter. Now Irving. 27 points for him. Outside Warren. Pass to Curry. Six on the shot clock. Over Bain. And Brooklyn again with a bucket. Well, as reliable as it gets from the mid-range. Seth Curry very good at finding those opportunities in those spaces. Here's Morant. Uses the glass to finish the layup. Morant's got 39. Assertive move. You can tell the game's heating up a bit. 
Pass to Claxton. And stolen by Bain. Clark outside. Now Morant. Bain with it. Outside Morant. Four on the clock. Over Irving. Oh, it's Morant missing. The Nets have gone 8 of 13 in the second half. Bain against Curry. Outside Irving. Laid it in with a nice touch off the window. Irving's got 29 points. We all understand Kyrie Irving is capable of having huge nights. He is well on his way. Here's Morant. Counted. Morant's got 41. Brooklyn trailing. Left side Warren. Pass to Irving. This for the tie. Clark grabs the board. Clark's got a rebound number five here tonight. Now Morant. The three from Bain. Good. And the setup by Morant. Morant's got six assists in the game. Slow reaction from the D, and it cost them three. Timeout called. Brooklyn. And some changes here for the Grizzlies. Jaron Jackson, he's checked in for Adams. Brooks comes in for Conchar. And it's Jones in for Ja Morant. Mills, he's checked in for Brooklyn. Warren, the pass to Mills. And there's the call on Dylan Brooks. That's foul number two for him. Outside Mills. O'Neal inside. Clark covers. Outside Mills. Off target with the three. That's staying connected to the shooter and timing the contest. Think back to the 2020 games in Tokyo, guys. Patty Mills leading Australia to the bronze medal. The first medal ever for men's basketball. A huge moment for the country. Irving a screen on Bain. Here's Mills. Oh, and makes it with the kiss. Mills has got five now. Wow, creating off the bounce is Patty Mills. Nice drive. And it's the Grizzlies with the ball. Four-point game. 
Jackson with a screen on Irving. Jones finds Bain. Takes the three. And again, it's the Grizzlies from deep. Patty Mills at those Tokyo games. He was devastating at the international level doors. Oh, guys, he led the entire tournament in scoring. He averaged more than Kevin Durant did with the USA team, and Kevin was fabulous. But Mills was absolutely the man for Australia, showed up on a big stage, Patty doing work. Morant, he's checked in for Memphis. And a change for the Nets. Harris is checked in. misses. Memphis has gone three of five from downtown here in the second half. Jackson outside. Pass to Moran. Moran with the slam! Adding to his game over time. When Jackson spots his open teammates like this, the offense runs much smoother. Brooklyn's gone two for five from three since halftime. Irving with a deep three, sinks it, what range from downtown. Down. Irving's got 12 points in just the second half, Memphis leading. Here's Moran, and he was fouled in the act of shooting, opportunity for a three-point play here. Yeah, teams try to get physical with Moran, but he shows exceptional body control off the contact. Some changes for Brooklyn. Simmons has checked in for O'Neal, and it's Kevin Durant in for Kyrie Irving. Mind the lanes. Mind the lanes. One shot. One oh seven left to play in the third. Durant with it. 26 points for him. To the paint. Count it and one. He'll have a chance at a three-point play. Jaron Jackson picks one up. throw no good and Memphis shooting has been unreal 64% from the floor and it's Morant missing Brooklyn trailing Durant the pass to Mills pass to Simmons shot clock at six to the middle and there's a whistle. He'll head to the line to shoot two. Jaron Jackson picks one up. First free throw is good. And he 
makes both free throws. Here's Morant. Non-stop scoring machine right here. And he lobs it up top. And the dunk by Jackson. An opportunistic player. When Jackson sees an alley-oop opportunity, he doesn't pass it up. Brooklyn's gotten three of six threes to fall in the third quarter. Here's Durant. He's got 26. Pass to Mills. That's good. And so Durant with the assist. Mills has got five points now in the quarter. Well, we think of Durant as a naturally gifted scorer. Fact is, this guy understands how to get his teammates open. Ja Morant, he's feeling it tonight and has been the driving force for Memphis. Over 40 points tonight and making it look easy. We're coming right back. Don't go anywhere. And a worthy candidate tonight as we take a look at our State Farm assist of the game. <laughs> yeah, just shredding the defense with that feed. Zero chance to stop that. Well, that's what a great pass will do, right? You love the unselfish play. Well, this has been a great contest so far. I imagine the fourth quarter could have more action in store for us. They've got Dylan Brooks. Tyus Jones is out there with Ja Moran. Then it's Jackson, and it's Williams in at the four. That's the lineup out there for the Grizzlies. Moran finds Jones. On the wing, Brooks. Simmons defending. To the inside. Williams passes to Jackson. Clock at six. And there's the rejection. And here's Mills. To take the lead, sends it home from three-point land. And the Nets lead by one. Well, this is a big part of Patty Mills' job, right? Knocking down three-point shots. Moran against Harris. Moran into the lane. Moran with the slam! Oh, save that for the dunk contest. That flush was so extra. Whether or not this game is close, he's the same guy. Focused on finishing firm at the rim. Now here's Simmons. Pass to Durant. Fires for three. It's rebounded by Memphis. Jackson's got six rebounds now in the game. And just about a minute and a half gone by in the fourth. Jones with the ball. Left side, Moran. Over Harris. John Moran getting it done. What a move that time. Moran's got 50 points. For Brooklyn, they've gotten just one shot to fall out of three attempts in the fourth. Here's Durant. And the rebound goes to the Grizzlies. Pass to Jackson. Here's Moran. Drives to the hoop. Oh! connects again <laughs> that's 52 points for him making it all look too easy right now can you say immediate entry into the highlight reel Woo, what a tough PA <laughs> it's showtime now man they've built up a lead and they're starting to rub it in inside here's Claxton and he makes it playing in the two-man game Ben Simmons has the vision to put it on time and on target Over two and a half minutes in the books here in the fourth. Take a break. Take a break. Two shots.
The free throw drops for Morant. So hits one and misses one at the line. Well, it wasn't a perfect trip to the line, but it was good enough to stretch their lead to two possessions. Harris misses. The Grizzlies have gone three of four in the fourth and looking confident on offense. Morant drawing the double team. Stolen by Mills. Fast break, Brooklyn. Banked it in off the glass. Mills has got 10 points in just the second half. Uh, it's about paying attention to details right there. Patty Mills swiping at the basketball, creating the fast break chance. Memphis leading. Now a timeout called by Memphis. And something fans don't always get to see, some of the closely guarded secrets that happen in that huddle. It's tough to hide your communications. Teams go to great lengths to try to do it, but sometimes to no avail. And the Grizzlies making a change here. Conchar's checked in. And let's swing it over to the sideline and hear from Allie. Hey, guys, I had a chance to find out what Taylor Jenkins was discussing with his players. He loves what he's seeing from their perimeter offense. He told the team, quote, keep shooting. It's working for us. Let's bring this home. Back to you. Great work, Allie. Thanks. Left side, Jones. Here's Jackson. Goes to the fadeaway. And the Grizzlies lead by four. Finishing through contact. Jackson showing why a 6'11 guy with real shooting ability is so dangerous. Pass to Moran. And the foul is called. He missed it, so he's got a couple of free throws coming his way. And even from where we're sitting, you could clearly tell it was a foul. Take a break. Take a break. Two shots. And he makes a first. Drops them both. A little over three and a half minutes in the books now in this fourth quarter. Mills against Jones. Mills, the pass to Simmons. Oh, and Jackson with the block. The attention to detail on defense. Jackson reads shooters well and knows when to go for blocks. The Grizzlies have gotten four shots out of six attempts to drop so far in the fourth. And out of bounds, the Nets will take it. Here's Durant. Pass to Mills. Over Jones. And the Nets miss again. I think this is a spot he has got to become more consistent from. If you want to command the defender's respect. Now Jackson. Shoots over Durant. Jackson can't get it to go. Good idea with the fadeaway, but the defense was just all over it. And out of bounds, the Grizzlies will take it. And some changes here for the Grizzlies. Clark is checked in for Jaron Jackson Jr. And it's Bain in for Moran. Jones against Irving. Pass to Clark. Outside Bain. Outside Jones. Williams with the screen. And Jones, good for three. Jones has got his first three points of the game. Pick works well there, but the defense left a lot to be desired. It takes incredible effort to stay connected to the hip of the offensive player. You've got to want to work. Now here's Mills. 
The floater. And it's laid up and in by Irving. Irving's got 36 points. Boy, how frustrating it must be when you manage to slow up Irving only to have him drop the floater. For Memphis, they've gone 5 of 8 from the field so far in the 4th. Pass to Bain. Puts up a 3. Claxton with a rebound. Brooklyn has gone only 1 of 4 from the perimeter here in this 4th quarter. Bain against Mills. Now here's Irving. Defense is right there. Out of bounds. It'll go to the Grizzlies. Dylan Brooks checked in for Conchar. Well, the Grizzlies shooting a terrific 56% so far in the fourth quarter. Pass to Brooks. Now here's Bain. He's guarded by Mills. Clark with a screen on Mills. With the tip, it's good on the putback. And the Grizzlies lead by nine. Now that takes serious effort and a light touch. No need to overdo it. Just lightly tip it in. Here's Irving. Connects on the foul line jumper. Irving's got four points now in the quarter. Patty Mills is about winning, guys. And if that means finding the open man, he'll do just that. And it's the Grizzlies with the ball. Now here's Jones. Driving inside. And he lobs it up. Trying to go for a lob there. Excellent defense and anticipation to stop it. Pass to Irving. Over Jones. That shot off the mark. And the Grizzlies going the other way now. Now here's Williams. Back to Jones. Clark with the screen. Jones drives in. It's blocked. Mills against Bain. Mills the pass to Irving. Back to Mills. It's Warren on the wing. Six to shoot. Over Clark. And the Nets get it back. He gets it in there. And you can tell by how hard he battled for that putback that he still has a lot of energy left for the end of this game. And doing that kind of dirty work down low makes a huge difference in a game this close. What a play on the offensive glass. And the Grizzlies with possession here. After the basket by Brooklyn. Clark with a screen on Warren. Brooks the pass to Clark. Oh, Clark with the slam. <laughs> Attacking the rim with power. Tremendous finish. Brooklyn trailing. And the Nets call time here. Jackson, he's checked in for Memphis. Morant comes in for Jones.
Outside Curry. Irving screen on Bain. Here's Curry. Denied by Moran. And he gets it back. Now Jackson. Pass to Moran. High arcing shot. And yep, it's good. Moran's got 57 points. Absolutely ruthless. He's not about to start showing mercy now. Well, when it's closing time, he's trying to lock the door. He's been going all night. Here's Irving. After the basket by Memphis. And stolen by Clark. Moran against Moran. Oh, Simmons with the block. And they'll keep possession from deep. Called in by Curry. Brooklyn's gone only one of four from the perimeter here in this fourth quarter. And it's good. Fought through contact. Hit the shot and will go to the line. misses. Boy, Ben Simmons, one of the most highly scrutinized players in the NBA, but I don't think you can doubt any of his defensive abilities. Cross-positional and big-time asset on that end. Now here's Irving. Drains it from nine feet away. Irving's got 40 points. We all know that Irving wants to be the man to hit that shot, and when he takes it, he usually finds a way to finish. All right, now a timeout called by Memphis. Memphis leading. Outside Bain. And they're going to count that bucket, and they'll send him to the line. It could be a three-point play. <laughs> you can feel the temperature rising in this arena. Both teams pouring it on offensively. There's been a bit of a flurry here late, and this game may come down to which side gets a stop or two. One shot. Brooklyn has gone only one of four from the perimeter here in this fourth quarter. 
Irving with it. Kicks it out to Warren. Fires the three. The Grizzlies pull it in. Morant's got four rebounds now. Pass to Jackson from seven feet. Good. And the setup by Morant. Morant's got eight assists in the game. And just totally relentless. Only increasing the intensity level. One thing I enjoy is watching players who don't pay attention to the score. You lock in on the moment and play the right way. Well, easy money, right? I like the strategy. Go inside, get a high percentage look. Moran against Irving. Ooh, he took a hard foul on the shot. So he'll head to the line to shoot a pair. It goes on Kevin Durant. Come on, this kid is electric. Morant draws a lot of fouls with the way he plays. He drops the first one, and that'll put him up by nine. good as he hits both shots there's a minute 40 left to play in the fourth Irving is doubled and it's out of bounds they say it was last touch by Irving yeah simply stated you have to take care of the basketball and they don't on that possession and that's how you defend he wasn't showing any mercy with that swat yeah I love that they maintain the defensive energy even when they're behind One thirty-three left in the fourth. The Grizzlies shooting an amazing 61%. Looking confident. Clark with the screen. From deep, Morant hits the trifecta. And the Grizzlies lead by 13. Morant doesn't need the three-point shot to be effective. There's so much more to his game. But when it's dropping, he's lethal. Irving against Bain. Throws it up high. Clark with the slam. It looks like it'll be a big win for them here. Time to just cruise to the end of the game and chalk up the victory for the Grizzlies. Offensively, they made the most of their trips. They found multiple ways to score consistently, and a little luck doesn't hurt them either. They also got some nice bounces off the rim tonight, too. And as it was happening, as it was building, you knew this was a monster game for Ja Moran. He ran things with precision. Great command of the offense, putting his teammates in all the right spots. Here's Moran. 41 seconds left in the fourth quarter. He takes it in, and he lays it up and in. Showing us that killer instinct right now. No letting the foot off the gas for them. And you want to save your best for last. Tonight, they've done that and then some. Irving against Moran. Here's Curry. And he got the whistle on the way up. So he'll be headed to the line for a pair. Well, Seth Curry has never been one who's afraid of contact. Does such an exceptional job drawing the defender into his trap. First one falls. Well, I think it's fair to say that Seth Curry has found his footing in this league. He gains more and more confidence every year. And so Curry nails both of them. Here's Bain. Three-second difference between the shot clock and the game clock. Pass to Brooks. Jackson with it. Here's Morant. With the floater. And it's good. Two points. And the Grizzlies lead by 14. 
With very little left on the clock, they've got a comfortable lead, and the fans are loving it. And they're getting ready to celebrate, no doubt. They know it's theirs to lose at this point. Well, as usual, this guy cooking on the offensive end, but right now, the other guys on his team have got to step forward. And so Memphis takes this one by a big margin. This one was a fun one to watch. They were clearly in the driver's seat down the stretch. They really were, B.A. They played with great intensity on both ends of the floor, and they didn't allow their mistakes to get the better of them. All right, now let's check in with Allie LaForce. Allie, what do you have? Brandon, congratulations. You guys may have faltered a bit coming out of the gates, but you finished strong. Yeah, man. All right, Allie, good stuff there. Thanks for that. And that's going to do it tonight, folks, for our broadcast. For Doris Burke, Ali LaForce, and Grant Hill, and our entire crew, this is Brian Anderson thanking you for tuning in. We'll see you later.